haven't even the first time, feel free to get down there and click subscribe. Oh, just like I promised uh, after last, after yesterday's video, today I'm gonna give you guys the first, first drive with my new South Bend clutch. On my first drive, I mean first impressions. This is kind of my third, fourth drive because I drove it home and then drove it to um, work and then a couple other times in between. But about my third or fourth time driving with the new South Bend clutch, um, I'm gonna try and explain as much as I can, give you guys uh, shifting and all of that. I forgot my little tripod guy inside so you get some uh, of the outside gear rollover noise here. First thing I could tell you is that, you know, the gear rollover from here sounds like a little bit louder, like 12 valve old diesel truck. Um, and it's not even that, like here. And then I'll push the clutch in. So there you have a representation of kind of the gear rollover in this truck with the South Bend. That's pretty much from removing the dual mass flywheel and going to a single mass flywheel, which is, you know, the dual mass kind of removes that vibration and sound from the engine because pretty much that's your that's why it sounds like a diesel engine, just like a different tone because that's what's resonating from your motor into your transmission, which is right below here obviously in order to get rid of that like I said I put seven quarts in the tranny did it help I mean inside here it just sounds like a diesel truck foot in foot out it just sounds like a diesel truck a little louder that's kind of my best explanation for okay clutch in clutch out clutch in clutch out clutch in clutch out um, that's my best uh, explanation of it there. The other thing is, like everyone says, you do need to learn how to redrive your truck. And you're like, what does that even mean? The gear rollover is very prominent under 1500 uh, RPM. So if you used to shift, you know, I, I can tell you the gears that were in positions I used to shift, uh, you can't shift there anymore because the gear rollover is present. That's what everyone says. Pretty much you're shifting at 2000 RPMs instead of like 17, 1800 now. And uh, it smooths that out completely. And what we're gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna drive you guys around town real quick. And I'm gonna give you guys a uh, first drive with this new South Bend 3250-GK. Uh, right now I am super impressed grabbing awesome compared to the stock one, obviously. As for the gear rollover, uh, when the truck is cold, you can't hear it at all. Uh, when the tranny fluid heats up, then the noise, I guess, comes out. But it's not even loud. To some, it may be annoying, but to me, it just, I mean, You can honestly look past it. If you're really not focusing on it, you can you can look past it no problem. So obviously I'm gonna try and keep you guys uh, from falling. Okay, a little less ideal angle, but we're gonna try this again because the tripod keeps falling over. I'm gonna prop that up on my phone again. All right, guys, first drive here with the new South Bend 3250 GK. Um, first thing we're going to go over before we get to the clutch is the Royal Purple Synchro Max Fluid. Part of it is the new clutch that makes it harder to get in gear. Uh, the shifts are smoother. I can tell you that. They're smoother shifts. However, uh, like I said, it's harder to get in gear because of the, the dual disc clutch. But the shifts are smoother. For uh, with the stock ATF, some shifts were like a little clunky, but these, all these shifts, like right there, you saw me, you have to get a little extra there. Smooth transition, smooth process. 
Um, I can tell you that the driving, the drivability of it, so much better. This compared to stock clutch is night and day difference, uh, as everyone will say. You know, second gear pulls when you're you're, you're turning, you know, you're turning sharp and quickly. Uh, it's a whole different ball game, whole different world, whole different feel. All right, so this is going to be 2,500 RPM shift. Still a little bit of rollover. I don't understand that. Right there, a lot of rollover. Second gear start here. Okay, there we go. That was a good second to third shift. Third to fourth, hell yeah. All right, so that sequence there, that was probably my best three shifts there were since I put this clutch in. Um, zero rollover, smooth, firm, powerful. That was awesome. That felt, oh, that felt powerful. That felt right. That made me feel so good. All right, here guys, we're gonna give you one more uh, shift here, coming up to another stop sign before I come back and talk to you. All right, here we go. there another three perfect shifts truck sounds great uh, you can even get some turbo cooling after the uh, first shift which sounds mad good we'll give you another shifting sequence here just because before I come back talk to y'all so good I can't even I can't even explain it guys that feels good oh truck drives awesome I'm actually getting some chills right now because that's just kind of like that's how the truck's supposed to be driven how it's supposed to feel oh and it feels so right man I actually hit the right part of town now you guys get another one All right, so guys, there you have it. A quick video, this is blocking the light. Very quick video of my first drive with the South Bend Clutch. Uh, first reactions, like I said, obviously you're gonna get some of the dual disc chatter. For being chattery, it's very, very quiet. Like I said, it's just kind of like a louder diesel sound. If your radio's on, you can't even hear it. Just like that, you know, couple drives and I'm already getting used to the new clutch. You know, shifting like that, three you know that two three four shift right there the last couple ones i did all perfect pulled hard because like that's how this truck is supposed to feel that's how it's supposed to be driven not like the slipping clutch i've been driving for nine thousand miles actually finally getting the first you know experience that of how this truck should be driven feels unreal so i, I this south bend clutch like I said, I got like a hundred or so miles on it. Obviously, I'll give you guys a review full in depth down the road. Uh, unreal. Getting used to it, obviously, obviously the big stepping stone. But once you're used to it, like I said, this is probably gonna be one of the best clutches you could ever put in a truck because just mainly because it can actually hold the power that this engine puts out. Once the braking period is done uh, and this truck can get on it, obviously we'll be adding a lot more ponies under the hood, uh, mainly because the clutch could support it. So um, that's what we're looking at. But so far, you know, first couple, you know, first day or so with this clutch and can't say enough good things. Obviously you're gonna deal with dual disc clutch noise that's just how it is south bend's website even says you know this clutch in my truck and this clutch in your truck could sound completely different your truck could be dead silent uh it's just how these trucks are how the tunes are written 
uh, stuff like that because it, it's what's being you know translated from your motor down to your transmission so if you if the way the tunes are written it's got different timing and stuff you could hear different sounds coming from the tranny however in love with the clutch drives awesome so as you can tell by the smile on my face truck drives awesome guys just want to give you the first drive here of this clutch so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't been here before get down there please click subscribe take care i will see you in the next video hoping to reach 50,000 subscribers by the first of the year so you guys want to join the family get down there and click subscribe so see you guys in the next video